that hey when a woman say no leave her alone leave her alone do not go further hello my lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jen if this is the first time that you are seeing this beautiful chick right here thank you so much for stopping by when you finish watching please i beg you consider subscribing i love you all for all of you that have subscribed to my channel eh? oh my god i don't know what to tell you i don't know i don't know how to thank you i don't know how to uh, show how i appreciate uh, the support that you are giving me god will support you in everything that you do everything that you put your hand that is your heart desire god will help you you guys are supporting this is my my heart desire and you are supporting me to get this uh, my heart desire may god bless you because th that's love if you didn't love me or you didn't like what i'm doing you will not support me may god bless you so my lovely people today i want to i want to show you guys something it's a it's a video that i saw i want to talk about sexual harassment and before i talk about that sexual harassment i want to show you a picture and this is the picture that i want to show you this is a bride all of us know what this is this is her and this is her breast this is uh, uh the little thing that is covered but it's it's it's, it's the bride and then let me show you her maid of honor her maid of honor and this is the same bride that is trying to entertain herself or entertain um the people in the wedding this is what she did in uh she put her head down and she goes you guys know what you do doing that so but then this is her maid of honor this is her this woman's maid of honor her maid of honor is wearing this if you can zoom in it very well this is her breast showing i have a reason for showing that you know because we women we are good at telling uh, men that um <clears throat> the sexual harassed you i've always said that uh, that men eat with eyes they eat with eyes women we don't eat with eyes we eat with emotion with everything we just like you and but men when they see you the everything on them will start moving around everything on them will start standing everything on them so when everything on when you show them your breasts and everything on them start moving and they do stupid things we blend them when we are the one that is putting them into those temptation and i think it should stop it should stop yeah just because something is in the market and they are selling it and it is your money does not mean that you have to wear something stupid and put men into something rubbish and when a man calls you in the night when a man calls you and he tells you oh i want you to come and visit me so 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 place and you get your stupid leg and go to the stupid and the, most of the time it's, it's a it's a hotel you go to a hotel knowing that this man is not is not your brother it's not your father it's just calling you then what when I, whatever happened there then you come out and tell us that he sexual harassed you or he sexual what do you, what are you doing there what are you doing there or what are you doing there you're not supposed to go to any man that's not your father not you and you don't want anything to do with him and you don't want him to take advantage of you he calls you in the night he's not calling you to come let let us go dancing when we finish dancing you go that's not what he's calling you when you see people dress stupidly they dress so foolishly these days it's not funny and then when men see them or when a man sees you and he said hey jane you looking so pretty i said thank you Ooh, thank you i know that too just because a man said i look pretty does not mean that i'm going to say he sexual harassed me see as long as you didn't lay your hand on me as long as you didn't start touching me however it is that you're not supposed to touch me that is not of my consent i'm not going to say it's a sexual harassment nigeria where i come from for those of you that don't know where i come from they don't only talk they touch they touch you but let me tell you as long as they didn't take it to the next level please 
Stop putting men into trouble. All they are doing is talk with their mouth. That's how they express their love. Can a man tell you that you look pretty? Please. Can a man say, oh girl, you look pretty. If they tell you that you look pretty, that, I don't see that as a sexual harassment. If it's a sexual harassment, it's a sexual harassment when you go to work and they make it so uncomfortable for you. They want you to sleep with them before they, you can get headway or then i will know that it's a sexual harassment but when a man calls you in the hotel in the middle of the night and you follow them knowing that they are not your papa they are not your brother and you follow them what are you following them there for whatever happens there don't come out and shout and say it's sexual harassment. i know women will get me for this but but me i don't put myself into any situation where a man will take advantage of me and i come out and say you shouldn't even have mouth to say that they say sharas because you put them in that situation this is what they do when they see women their eyes open up they want to see what is inside that woman don't give them the opportunity what how dress up put on clothes put on clothes and dress like a human being don't go naked being naked the only person that will that you will attract with being naked is a rubbish person it's the person that want to get into you and see what what is it that you are showing and after that they walk away if you agree with me on this video please go to comment section and say it say jane i agree with you let women start dressing like human beings let women appreciate when men tells them that they look pretty when they start going to the next level, then you will understand. Then you will call them out right there and say, hey, 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 don't go there. Uh, that place is, is a no-go area. But not when they open their mouth. Stop bringing men down. Stop pulling men down. And as soon as you see them trying to rise up, you pull them down and say they sexual harass you 50 years ago. And it, that means you're just sitting, waiting. Waiting for them to rise up. That means you don't want them to rise up. If something happened 20 years ago and it's now that you want that you're seeing that person trying to rise up that you will say that person sexual harassment 50 years ago and let me tell you another one that is happening if you go to club and you from club follow a man home you get home you from club from club or whatever it is you follow a man home you get to his home you take a shower you you change clothes in his house you sleep in his bed and then the man will leave his bed for you to go and stay in. Now you follow the man. Oh, the man did not force you to come. Let's, let me go to my house. So when you follow that man, go to his house, take a shower, probably put on his clothes. And then whatever happened, what do you know? First of all, let me think. If you do that, what do you expect that man to do? Or after you, you lead him on and do whatever, whatever, as soon as it's time to touch, he said no. What are you there for? What are you doing in his house? You don't have to go to his house. They're not coming to your house to sexual harass you. They're not coming to your house to rape you. You are following them to their homes. You are following them to their apartments. And when they do, because you allow them, if you didn't go to their house and take a shower in their house, or eat their food, wear their clothes, and then they come, you say no. What do you mean no? No is from where? So women, if you don't want to be sexual harassed or you don't want to be uh, in a situation where men will take advantage of you, don't keep yourself open like that. Don't follow them to their homes. Don't go to their hotels when they call you. If you have to go for whatever reason, let it be in the daytime. Go with a friend. Go with somebody. That's why a lot of people are disappearing now because, hey, uh, they're going alone. And when you go alone and whatever happens, you come out, you scream, Ooh, men have done this to me. Oh, no, we all have brothers. We all have fathers. We all have uh, uh, children, male children. Let us teach these children. Let us teach these children uh, that, hey, when a woman say no, leave her alone. Leave her alone. Do not go further. And let us teach our girls not to be following men to their homes. Not to be leading men on, wearing stupid things, showing everything that they have. If they don't have this one that they're showing their breasts, they have one that they are showing their stomach, they have one that they wear clothes so tight, they buy a one-year-old clothes and they put it on them. And if you say, they say, it's their money, I know it's your money. 
But that doesn't mean you have to dress up like, a, and, like an idiot and start leading all these men into temptation. Lead us not into temptation, but women are leading men into tem temptation by the way they dress. Dress decent. Dress like a human being. Who is going to like you is going to like you. It doesn't matter what you have on. So stop leading men into stuff. Then when they, they try to thinking that uh, their brain is telling them something else and you are thinking something else. If you don't want them to do anything stupid to you, please don't lead them to it. Wear something decent so that when they talk to you, anyone that will talk to somebody that will dress like the one I showed you, it's not coming for love. It's coming for something else. And once he get whatever it is that he is there for, that the girl wants too. Because if the girl did not want it, he will not wear something like that. And once somewhere, one one time, and this girl dressed up, he wore something here. The stomach is open, and this is a, a, a like a little piece of clothes, and he put it here, and then another little piece of clothes. He put it in this one. And he's walking around and everybody that is passing is watching and looking. Oh, is that when a man now say, hey, hey, you look very pretty. That's not real. That's, that's, that man is lying to you. But even though in your head, you will turn around and say, oh, thank you. Thank you, my back. That's not love. He want to get to you so you can get to whatever it is that you are trying to show them. And when they get it, they're out. So my people, please let us dress good. Let us dress decent. Let us know that we are women. We don't have to dress foolishly. And let us accept men when they tell us that we look pretty. There's nothing wrong with telling you that you look pretty. But when they start going to the next uh, one, trying making you uncomfortable, you call them out right there and then. Even if I have to lose my job, even if I have to quit that job because I don't want you to make me uncomfortable here. That's why it's good for, to work for yourself so that men won't be using you. If you don't sleep with them, you won't get to wherever it is that you have to get to. So work for yourself. You can do it. You can do it. You even open this YouTube channel. I am here. I've been here for over one year and I am still doing it and I'm not going to give up. And I really, really appreciate every one of you that are helping me to get to where I want to be. This is my passion and I am doing it. So my people, please let us help our men by not dressing stupid. Let us help our men by not telling them that they are harassing us when all they are saying is, oh, you look so beautiful. Or I, I don't understand. Oh, it's only here when I came, I heard all this uh, sexual harassment. Over where I come from, they touch. They say, they say all kind of stuff. But as long as they didn't touch you, just keep going and let them talk. It's no problem. So my lovely people, I hope you like this video. I'm going to stop it here. The video is already 12 minutes. Hey, my lovely people, I love you all. Please give this video a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down. Say your opinion in comment section and may God richly bless it. From here to you, I love you.